I've already told you how to achieve immortality and enter the underworld. It would be rude if I don't now tell you how to travel through time, and I'm not a rude man. In fact, I'm barely either of those things. From ancient mythology to modern folklore, there are many methods said to enable time travel, whether it be by modern science or by entering mysterious eastern temples. Here are 10 ways to travel through time. Stay a night in the Vanishing Hotel. A French urban legend tells of a mysterious hotel. Its exact location is unclear but can be found at the end of an old cobblestone road. With antique plumbing, the hotel has no electricity. Stay the night in the hotel and you will awake in what at first seems like a different place, but you soon realize is the same village 100 years in the past. You'll now be free to explore early 20th century France, but you must not stray far from the hotel. The only way back to present time is to spend another night there. After returning to present day and leaving the hotel, you'll never see it again, even if one day you return to the village and look for it. You'll never see it again. Enter the Golazov Ravine. There is a deep ravine in Moscow in the middle of a park. It's home to a pagan shrine built around ancient sacred rocks. It's always been thought a mysterious place. Legend tells the ravine is a time portal that becomes active on misty mornings. The story goes back to when Russia was subjugated by the Mongols. A group of Mongol soldiers entered the ravine to explore it. A cloud of mist grew thicker as they moved further into the ravine, until it surrounded them completely. They could no longer see anything but kept walking. After what felt like hours of walking, they re-emerged from the ravine, but they didn't recognize what they found. Several hundred years had passed while they were in the ravine, and they had been transported forward. Several others have since been reported missing inside. Maybe one day they will re-emerge. Visit Brahma in his heavenly kingdom. Brahma is a Hindu god. A traditional story tells of King Kakudmi. He believed his daughter was too beautiful for any man in the world to marry, but she needed a husband. So he decided to seek the advice of Brahma, which I think was a bit drastic, but I admire his ambition. That's why he's a king while you're just a bloody peasant, watching videos and stuff. On arriving at the heavenly kingdom, Brahma recommended his daughter marry Vishnu, another god currently incarnated on earth. The king returns to earth after a short period. To his shock, in the time he was absent, over 400 million years had passed on earth. The land of Brahma has a different time frame. Just find the gateway the king used to get there, and maybe you too can jump forward 400 million years. Use cosmic strings. Cosmic strings are thought to be anomalies in space that possibly bend space-time. These strings might literally distort reality in the short area surrounding them. If you're a super genius scientist watching this, and I hope some of you are, although let's face it, even if you are, you're no Hindu king, but if you are, maybe you can find a way to bring two cosmic strings close to each other. Pulling them together, whatever is in between them could in theory travel super fast. And as reality might be distorted, time within that area might not be linear. I've oversimplified this, but let me make up for that with our next option. Find the Iranian time machine. In 2013, international news outlets began reporting on an Iranian scientist who invented a time machine. Well, a scientist who claims to have invented a time machine. Well, a man who claims to be a scientist. The man is Ali Rezeki, managing director of Iran's Center for Strategic Inventions. And that sounds pretty legit to me. But a few days later, the Iranian government said his time machine did not exist. I don't think the director for Iran's Center for Strategic Inventions would lie to us. I think the government stole his time machine. It's probably the worst thing the Iranian government has ever done. Jump through a wormhole. In 1935, Albert Einstein teamed up with another sex symbol to propose an incredible theory. They described Einstein-Rosen bridges, a theoretical type of wormhole that may exist somewhere in the universe. They said these wormholes could connect to different points in space-time. Apparently, if you were to enter a wormhole at light speed, and then slow down before emerging from the other side, you might be able to manipulate time. I don't understand how this works, but it's worth a try if you ever find a wormhole, which you won't. Drive along a mysterious road. 
In 1969, two men were driving between two small towns in southern Louisiana. They were moving along a highway at a moderate pace. After a while, they noticed an antique car ahead of them moving slowly. Getting closer, they noticed the car had a 1940s license plate. They noticed it was a type of car so obsolete that it was banned from driving on the highway. And they noticed the woman driving it was dressed in vintage clothing. When they got close enough for her to notice, she began to panic, looking around as if she was terrified of them. She pulled over over at the side of the road, and they pulled over ahead of her, but when they looked back, she was gone. The entire vehicle had vanished. They later learned the road was rumoured to be a time portal, with people from the past emerging and disappearing again. Climb under a Swedish sink I'll admit these are getting more ridiculous. Hacker Nordvis claims to have been to the future, and while there met his older self. Apparently, he was attempting to fix a leak under his sink so he crawled inside a cabinet to examine the pipes. He crawled into what felt like a tunnel which he wasn't expecting. Failing to fix the leak, he crawled back out, but somehow he was now in the year 2042. He never gave much info about the future, but met himself as a 72-year-old and recorded a video of them together. So that's weird. Visit the Underwater Palace. A Japanese fairy tale describes how a fisherman travelled through time. One day he rescued a large turtle, who was being tortured by a group of children on a beach. Later that day the turtle found him, and offered to take him to the underwater palace. Home to the dragon god, the turtle took him to the palace on his shell, where the gods thanked him for saving the turtle. They treated him to feasts and welcomed him as their own, but after three days of fun he became homesick. The gods invited him to stay forever, but he chose to leave. Returning home he found his village in ruins, and no sign of his friends or family. In the three days that had passed within the palace, 300 years had passed outside. Everyone he knew was dead. One day within the dragon palace is equal to one century. fall into a black hole but then escape somehow. When travelling into a black hole you age more slowly, literally travelling forwards in time. So if you can travel very close to a black hole's event horizon, but escape before it kills you, you could in effect jump forward in time. It's very risky as if you cross the event horizon you might be torn in half, and then torn into quarters, and into apes until there is no you anymore. 